Hello and welcome back to School Money. Let's talk about setting up trips and payments in the system. Feedback that we regularly receive from our schools is how quick and easy it is to set up payments in School Money. So I thought today I'd show you how. All you do is click this add button and select your payment type. So you'll see that we have a number of different payment types but for today, we'll set up a school trip. Something that schools really love about school money is that you can set up various different bank accounts. So let's say that you have a bank account for your dinners, which goes directly to your catering company and a separate bank account for everything else in school. We can set up both of those bank accounts in the system so that you can differentiate when setting up payments. We then pop in our description, which is what your parents would see when we invite them to pay for this trip so they'll know that we're going to the zoo and we pop in a reference for ourselves as a school which we can refer back to in our reporting later. Pop in how much the trip is per child so let's say that it's £20 per child for this zoo trip and then we would select when the parents would be making payment by. So you'll see here that we can set up to 10 instalment dates which is really handy if you have a larger payment like a residential trip for today, I'll set up two instalments for this £20 payment and select the instalment dates. So I'm going to select the 20th of August and the 24th of September. We can also change the amounts. So if you had a payment where you wanted to offer a smaller deposit as the first payment and a larger second payment, we can do that. Next, we need to choose which students we're going to be inviting to the trip. So simply click on Manage Students. All of this information will be pulled automatically from your MIS system. Um, so any classes that you have set up in your system, any year groups will pull through. I'm gonna suggest that this is year one students, add them into the payment and save. So that really is the trip set up. Um, but before we start to invite our parents to make pay payment, there is a couple of settings just to highlight. So one feature that our schools really love is that you can ask parents to give consent before they make a payment for a trip. This helps to reduce paper wastage. We can also limit the number of places. Um, so if you only had 10 spaces on the, on the bus for this trip, it would book out on a first come first serve basis. Another feature that's really handy is part pay online. And this just helps to provide flexibility for your parents. So rather than them having to pay a full £10 for each instalment, they can just pay in dribs and drabs. So £2 today, £5 tomorrow, so long as that £10 is paid off by the end date. Another area just to highlight to you and a feature that's really popular with schools is that we can also help you with your pupil premium tracking. So let's say that I am a pupil premium student and actually, as a school, we want to contribute £10 towards this trip. I can double click on the payment and write off some of the payment. So I'm going to choose to write off £10. What's really great is you can pop in a reason for write off. So I'm popping in a reason as pupil premium and at the under, end of the academic year or whenever you look at your pupil premium funding, you can actually pull off a report based on this reference. This often saves schools quite a lot of time. So the payment is now set up and ready to go and I just want to invite the parents to make their payment. So I'm simply going to click on this text and email button which will automate a text message and an email inviting our parents to make payment. To further help reduce with paper wastage we can add attachments to this. So for the zoo I might have an itinerary letter that I want to send out to the parents. I can simply add this as an attachment to the email that goes out to my parents. And that's it. Our messages have been sent out and parents can start making payments straight away. So I'm hoping that this has helped to highlight how quick and easy it is to set up payments in school money.